G'day, I'm Kevin Young. I'm Australia's most successful property investor, but I started out poor and I'm constantly being asked, how do you do it? How do you get there? You ask me, I'll give you the solutions. And between us, we'll make you wealthy. Well, back now, we're getting some really meaty questions now. Paul from South Australia asks, We built our dream home two years ago, but my income has since dropped dramatically. Should we move out and rent it, or should we sell? Let's go and see what the solutions are. We have a lot of mantras in the club that can help you. One of our mantras is, never, never sell. So the question, you know, uh, should I uh, sell my property, I want to downgrade? The answer is, I think, unless you've got some serious upcoming issues with your property, we say never, never sell, because sooner or later, it'll double. I don't know whether the doubling cycle is seven years, 10 years, 16 years, but it will double, and then someone else will own it, so it doesn't make sense. So I would suggest you keep it and put a tenant in it, and use the club to body check for instance, that someone's going to look after it, not you, because you'll be a sucker and the tenant will take you for a ride. Get a really good local agent who's going to be concerned about you, not the tenant, and make sure they don't mistreat your property. So that's what I would suggest there. Don't sell it, retain it, put the tenant in it. So that was never, never sell. So when should you sell? And I think this is a case where we should look seriously at whether we do sell. The income has dropped dramatically. The cost to hold is therefore a huge burden on his lifestyle. There I'd be inclined to move out, make it interest only so your costs going out are less, but equally go to the bank and explain that this is a problem for you. You need some time to handle this. And what you're gonna do is make an orderly sale. So you're selling up here, not a fire sale down there. Now if the bank won't help you, go along to the financial ombudsman, I can guarantee you the financial ombudsman will see that the bank will work with you to see that you can maximise your return on your property, but get out of this squeeze on your cash flow. And it's better to exit now with a good uh, credit rating, with a good lifestyle, and then work towards getting properties that you can afford and build up again, rather than have this as a big, huge tidal wave that's gonna crash on you. So it's one of the rare occasions where I say, yep, sell. I think the problem with property is that most people have to overcome the ups and downs in properties by themselves. There's no one there to assist them. And that's really why I started the property club. So there's always someone there that can help you. Now, when interest rates went to 17% there, there was no one there to help me. I had to think through myself. It was easy to panic and I thought these rates are gonna last forever. And I thought, how can I possibly look at my forward cash flow and afford it? So I mistakenly started to urgently sell, and so did everyone else. So I sold into a falling market. Now, that can't happen, because in the club, we have people there that can, you can rely on to give you some support and some assistance to pull back, look at the facts, and not make these knee-jerk reactions. So I think that's the single best thing about the Investors Club. You've got other people that see the big picture and are there to help you. You're doing a fantastic job there getting all these questions to me and I'm really impressed with them. And they're searching and it means that you are interested in property and you're concerned about your future. And I love people that love property and more people are concerned about their future. So keep those uh, questions coming through. I need to get out there. I need to help people. I need to save them from real estate agents. I need to save them from income tax. I need to save them from superannuation, which is not going to help you in retirement.